What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're going to play some standard. We are going to play this green white list. Uh, we actually found it. Uh, it was a, a week of wings entry event Monday flight. Uh, I don't know what that is. I assume it's just a local event that was done on MTG Melee. And uh, <clears throat> both Leo McLean and Gavin Bennett took this list uh, to the top eight. So two players, same list, top eight. And then the sideboard, we got uh, Spider, Run Afoul, Glass Casket, Scavenging Ooze, Omen of the Sun, Shatter of the Sky, another Elspeth Conquers Death, two Vivian, uh, one Heliod's Intervention, and basically, it's a deck with four Yorion on the main deck. We got two Charming Prince, two Glass Casket, two Florahedrons, four Trail of Crumbs, which is interesting. Um... Omen of the Sun for times two. Skyclave Apparition times four. Uh, interestingly enough, you can Skyclave, Skyclave Apparition their creature and then Glass Casket the token, if you'd like. Four Land War Visionary for obvious reasons. Four Wicked Wolf, card we haven't seen since uh, since the Oko days. <laughs> All right. Elspeth conquers death times two, and a Yorion, full suite of Yorions times four. Then for the the higher than six drops, one Kogla, three two Amiri's calls, uh, three Turn Timber Symbiosis, and uh, two Great Henge, which is pretty fantastic. I also have four Gelded Goose. I didn't say that, but we're gonna give this deck a try, see how it do. <coughs> Traditional standard ranked. And uh, here we go. What about Dre? Well, you know. I didn't forget about Dre. Bow down, 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 down. <clears throat> After this, we'll battle in some stream raiders. Oh, what up, Mouth the Plague? I'll keep seven. This has three lands and two geese. Omen of the Sun is also a great blink target. Didn't I, didn't I, didn't I see you crying? Oh. Uh. All right. <clears throat> and you thought about the thing no not not nothing i mean i don't know I have not, I have not, uh, no, I haven't, I haven't considered anything one way or the other. Wow, that's just rude. Um, yeah, I'll keep that. I want to hit lands, so. What up, Jimmy the Mole? <clears throat> yep, you got it. Take a gander. What's it going to be? Yorion himself. Sounds good. Hmm. Yeah, alright. No attacks. Do 
Hmm. Yeah, it's fine. <clears throat> well. You got it. Sure. <laughs> That's just fine. <clears throat> Crack this guy. Um, I think I guess three or less, huh? Okay. They have four cards, we have one, so not ideal. Charming little prince. <clears throat> I mean, I think we're just gonna play it in Scry because we don't have anything coming up, and like we could wait until they play something to Elspeth and then blink the Elspeth, but. <clears throat> I don't want either of these. So it's basically two lands. Man, the things they're having to use their removal on are pretty sweet. One soldier token and a charming prince. Does just oh, it just blinks creatures. Yeah, good point. So I'm thinking of Yorion. Hmm, it's pretty good. One, two, three. <clears throat> Yeah, Wicked Wolf seems fine. We have two food tokens. Um, no attacks. Kind of decent because now we have a better creature to get back with Elspeth Conqueror's death. They have two cards in hand. Yep. 
that's unfortunate. Actually, it's not, because we can get rid of that, and then we can just get this back. Oh, no, it's not going to. It's going to be in the graveyard. Can they replay it? They can. Hmm. <clears throat> they decided not to. Pretty sure it's still apparition. <clears throat> Blink this thing. Uh, t t one non. Oh, it's non land non token permanent. Well, that's unfortunate. But we wanted to have it on board in case we do get an opportunity to blink it with like a uh, Yorion or a uh, Charming Prince. Wow, non token. That's interesting. I mean, I don't care about this, so I'm just going to submit for zero. So they have technically access to three cards. If we draw a Yorion, it could be sweet. Blink this, blink this. Yep. <clears throat> I mean, I guess we're taking three here, but that's fine. actually pretty good. Got him. <laughs> Next, this guy and this guy. That was what's known as a solid draw. I will not block if you want to attack. Just putting that out there. Sure. <clears throat> That's just fine. That just doesn't do anything. Seems less than ideal. We have not started stream rating yet. After this round, we will. <clears throat> Interesting. Uh, that was... Did they... Hmm. It's a solid top deck. Solid, solid top deck. Now we're going to draw a, uh, a seven mana card, and we're going to feel real bad about not just playing this forest. Yep. 
Yep, that was a good draw. <clears throat> Not bad. <clears throat> it's actually pretty good. I mean, now if, we, if they attack, we can double block and sack of food. Keep our 5-5 five, five alive. I got to draw a card. Oh no, I dropped my I dropped my little my little purple mattress. <coughs> Wow, nine and three. Uh, okay. Yep, auto pay for that. Take a Yorion. <laughs> Seems good. And this guy just dies. Sure. Oh, I guess it... Oh, that's really frustrating. I guess we're taking three less, so instead of taking nine, we're just discarding. But, like, there was no real other option. Like, the other option is this guy just dies, so... <clears throat> yep. That's frustrating. I mean, they have no cards in hand, so I'm actually gonna... One, two... This makes a six. Is there anything we can draw that would deal them an extra two damage? <laughs> oh well <laughs> three in a row wow that's very good that's very very good yeah that's that's cool <sighs> how goes the magic pretty much same as always Wow, fantastic top decks. Oh look, I have a second land in hand, so I die. Incredible. Ah, oh, what a shock. What a, what a surprise. Six, ten, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. So we took out twenty-two lands, huh? The turn he gets the discard, we draw a Yorion. The next turn, we draw literally three branch, branch, three pathways in a row. Fantastic. Their top decks, two Shatter Skull Smashings in a row. Okay. You got it.
Yeah, this is still three lands. It's really hard to figure out the land. You're like, oh, is this a land? Yes, it is. Okay. Nice. That's great. Now I don't have to use Amiria's Call. I'm still going to keep that. I can go Visionary into Apparition, maybe? 23 months, two Exodus. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Hambone McGillicuddy. That was 13 hours ago. I wasn't even live, I don't think, but thank you for the sub. It's a great name. <clears throat> Everybody knows old Hambone. Hambone's connected to the other bone. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Crocs is in the graveyard already? Shoot. <clears throat> I'm gonna eat that son of a biscuit. And these are the Uh, <clears throat> fascinating. Hmm, I'm not gonna block. I'll take two. Man is a little more valuable to me next turn. And they're like, "Oh, the man is valuable, huh?" Okay, I'll just kill it. And you're like, "Oh no, don't do that." But they did kill it. That was a delicious little treat. <clears throat> no. Now we have a 3 3. So, well, how do you even kill this? Can't Heartless Act it. Can't Needle, needle Haystack it. Spike Field Hazard it. Oh, okay. You got it. I don't appreciate what they're doing right now. <coughs> Man, where was that? Three lands? Sounds good. Sounds wonderful. Doo -doo -doo. I've already said we're doing raiding. Gah! Oh, you weren't here though. That's fine. I'm just like, I gotta keep answering this. Um, I think Amiria's Call is actually probably better. Plus we have three of this and two of this, so. I'm actually gonna pay three and play Ooze. Okay, more lands. Literally, they've hit nothing. Wow, that's fantastic. That's wild, dude. Oh boy. <clears throat> well. Discard a card. Sounds good. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. This costs seven, though, unfortunately. I think it is Mira's Call. You 
you've got it. So they get a 2-2 here, but we get to Exile Rankle, which is, I think, better. And I still, like, have no zombies, so... <clears throat> and their hand has to be, like, literal Swamp Croxa in order to get a Croxa down. Yep. Look, I just want to cast this Great Henge. Is that too much to ask? They didn't attack? Fascinating. Vivian seems good. Oh, boy. You have literal still nothing, right? We're gonna give it reach in case they top deck a rankle. Well, now Great Henge is six, so any land we can play Great Henge. I'll be watching all them tubes of yours. Keep watching my tubes. <clears throat> I assume that's all you're going to do. Branch Loft Pathway. Hmm. I've been leveling up in raids so I can be more helpful in ours. Man, love and crafty. You're too, you're too pure for this world. Sass, fascinating. Sass, 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 fascinating. Hmm. Alright, well. And we're still going to exile things because we're going to activate this anyway, so we might as well get some, some cards out of here. <coughs> So, uh, what what creature can we get? Actually, this is, we can get like an apparition, right? Is that decent? I don't know. Got a wolf, got a wolf on the top too. Let's see. Charming Prince. <clears throat> seems fine. Elvish Visionary seems good.
And two more. Tap up to one creature you don't control. Oh, fight. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> um, so we can go trail. We have one. We have... Uh, want two for trail, but we also want to keep up one for <clears throat> for trail as well. So we'll play this guy. Get rid of this. Another wolf on top. Okay. I think getting rid of this is more important than keeping one. That seems fine. Do you ever get excited about something that you cook that you can't stand it? I assume you mean so excited about something I cook that I can't stand it. Um, sometimes. Not super frequently, though. Um, <clears throat> I really like Vivian. I think she's very good. Maybe one Yorion. That seems fine. This seems fine, actually. Uh, one, two. Yeah, we're definitely keeping that. And we already have, we have five lands. And that card's. I don't know if you heard that card's good. Rocks up. Probably just pitching a land if they play Croxa. Probably just pl pitching Temple actually, because then it lets us go two, three, four, which is nice. <clears throat> well, now we don't have that choice, I guess. So long, Trail of Crumbs. I mean, despite having Wicked Wolf in it, I just don't care about Gilded Goose. Yep. <clears throat> I mean, it's still four cards to five. Sure. Huh. That's funny. Unfortunately, this wolf has, uh, does, does not have death, it's not death touch proof. Ooh, that was a good draw. Oh, 
Oh, two of these guys, huh? Okay. Uh, I, I mean, we have so much mana, I can't think of a reason not to block here. Even if we draw, like, a 7-drop, we still can't play it next turn. So. Oh, well, let's play this. <clears throat> let's see what we're going to hit. Yorion? I will definitely keep that on top. Man, I was, Land of War Visionary is so banging. I'm just taking two here. <clears throat> like, being able to play Yorion and blink this guy next turn seems pretty good. They have two failed passages they haven't cracked yet. Also, now we're at a point where if we do draw one of our seven drops, we can cast it. Hmm... I mean, Yorian just blinking this guy and drawing a card is fine. If they kill this, then they also have to kill Yorian. Oh, what up, Block? And I'm sure they have some removal, but... Yeah, that's fine. So I still get the card. Sure. Seems fine. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Whew, all right. Hit an ox of a gonus. What does that guy cost like? Two and exile eight cards. Okay. Scavenging is off the top is what we're looking for here. What are you doing? Just attack or don't attack, man. This is, these draws have been fucking horrendous, man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. It's an eight mana, I guess. Ox of Agonis. So you can play Wicked Wolf, fight to this guy. We cannot eat the ox though, unfortunately. Oh, we can we can Elspeth conquer his death the ox, I guess. We 
got rid of the 2 1 because it just makes it harder for all of our creatures to attack in future turns. And they didn't hit anything super valuable there, so. <clears throat> oh, glass casket. Fascinating. I mean, it's just worth getting in there for four. We have 14, they have 8. Seems good. <sighs> Just means more time spent on Facebook arguing. <laughs> Yikes. I don't know what this is. Is it Big Fat Bone Daddy? Is it Big Fat Argonus? I like it. Then we get to play else, but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 9 mana total if we do that. So we have 4 left over. <coughs> well, that's pretty fascinating. Um, they did hit another Ox. If they play Crocs, we can just discard two forests here. Like, <clears throat> Thok, the person you're talking about, we got an argument on, like, not an argument, but, like, she was spouting nonsense on Facebook. The problem with that person is just, like, she has a fundamental dis misunderstanding of how government works and how societies work. It's Croxa. No blocks. Okay. <clears throat> Let's do this guy. Uh, no attacks. <laughs> End the turn. All right.
Don't worry, be happy now. Yeah, come at me, bro. I'll block with my land war visionary that has indestructible. All right, so they have five minutes. We have. <laughs> I don't. Uh, Thirteen. Okay, so they've taken three minutes. We've taken one. Sounds good. You got it. Oh, that's pretty sweet. All right, so let's get. Hmm. I mean, Skycloud gets rid of this guy. Yorion is able to blink Visionary and Glass Casket. Yeah, let's do that. And it's just a 4 or 5 that sits on the board. Symbiosis can also probably get rid of something here. They also didn't play Croxa, which is kind of interesting. Let's see what they want to do here. They might just have like two heartless acts in hand. Murderous Rider, sure, you got it. Well, <clears throat> um, not great, but I think it's still Yorion. Uh, Smith Zero. Let's get rid of this guy in case they want to destroy the glass casket somehow. Oh, that's pretty that's pretty sweet. All right. Well, they can Croxa and we discard planes. Got him. 10. Oh. That match took 50 minutes. Not well, not including the deck description, but that's a ridiculous amount of time. Our opponent also had like four minutes on the clock, so what can you do? Oh, what did I just click on? Zendikar World Tour. Mm, okay. Let's play it again. Do, 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 do. I wonder how long it's going to take to find a match on here. A year, maybe. Alright, let's do it. Playing against old Druk. Uh, this seems fine. Temple, Temple, Branchway? Branch Loft? I enjoy watching Arena. Thanks for playing it. I enjoy you. Thanks for being you. Buddy. One, two... I mean, like, there's no reason not to keep this as a land, right? And if we just hit four lands in between now and then... Okay, sure. Let's 
Well, that is unfortunate. I don't want you to hit a second one. I don't know why. Ooh, that's pretty good. Can't even play the wolf. That's great. That's just fantastic. <sighs> Ember cleaves a cool card. <laughs> Fucking cool. Guess I'll concede. Did you see the bad news about Jeff Bridges? No, I did not. Sand seems much better. <sighs> this hand is pretty good. If we lose with this hand, we're just not meant to beat this deck. Stay home. Where are you going? Um, is it German Prince? Is it blink a thing? I don't know. Might be, might just blink the goose. I'm just gonna omen here. Oh, snap. It's a lava cat. Whoa, 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 it's a lava cat. Seems good. What? Where's my manas? that about
Come on, goose. Two, two, no blocks. Well, well, well. What does this guy escape three other cards? And you have one, huh? They're gonna die to their own roiling vortex. Hold on a second. Attack with everything that hit five. We probably should just play Glass Cask. I didn't realize the phase because that was my own fault. I was responding to something real quick, but um, Yeah, this was bad. We should, literally should have killed them this turn. That was my own fault. I, I clicked the button too fast. Okay. That's <laughs> they're gonna concede anyway. Whoa, 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 she's a lady. Yeah, I'll keep this. Hmm, <sighs> goosey. No blocks. Oh, they're pumping it anyway? Oh, that's a deal. Sure. Double up, goose. I am tempted to double block here. Doesn't do anything, I guess, that a single block doesn't do, right? Sure, we'll single block. Yeah, 
Yeah, this game is probably over because they're missing land drop here. Or choosing to kill one goose over a uh, thing. <laughs> all right I mean all of our cards in hand are two for ones two for one two for one two for one just playing this as a land. Enters tapped. And the turn. Because next turn we can play Yorion, blink this, this, this. Attack with Goosey to just play Dominance. I want to block with Goosey. do anything? Okay. I like it. Um... I feel like we just play other Wicked Wolf kill champion here. You can get a 1-1. One, one. Sure. Definitely keeping that, and I'm tempted to just play Goose off Goose, because it's literally just... It gets another Goose on the board, so next turn will be Yorion. And we're not drawing a land, so it's not like we're going to have more mana next turn. boy We're just gonna make a food at the end of this turn. We can get in there with one of these guys. Mm-hmm. 
Timberclave is a cool card. So we take six here, and then we get to just do a bunch of damage to these idiots. Damage, I mean emotional damage. I guess we took seven because of this guy, sure. Yep, that sucks. One, two, three, four, five. Really, you're just taking seven here. Wait, we can, do, we can put you to, we can put you to one. Well, that's unfortunate. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's pretty wild. I don't want to blink this because we're just gonna get back the annex again. Is this the scary Halloween stream on October 19th? I don't think so. Um, yeah, we want these to resolve first. Okay. <laughs> They've had enough. Good times. Good times. All right, so we're 2-0. It's not bad. So then there will be a scary Halloween stream. <laughs> oh, shit. Touche. Dang it. Tricked me into the Halloween stream. play spooky ghost game <laughs> that's true this hand actually seems okay i'll keep it oh we got a lurus the of the dream den deck a blue black lurus deck any land we're probably gonna keep done because now we can play trail play one of these into this Oh, we got three Trails of Prums? That's a lot. You can Mike B for apples. That's uh, it's an alternative to bobbing for apples. Mike being for apples. Oh, good. Your favorite and mine.
wow. Countering that. Okie dokie. Yeah, that's fine. Oh my god, the ice drop. Wow. Ice. You just dropped some ice? I did, yeah. Did it did fall it out of your mouth? mouth? Yep. <laughs> so that's pretty hilarious. Uh, so it's our turn. Oh, they milled us. I guess it, I was like, oh, where'd my land go? I'm like, oh, it doesn't matter because they milled it away. This just never resolve. Yeah. To the surprise of no one. You dropped some ice? God, my beard is so much whiter than it was three years ago. God, man. That's wild. I got my crumbs, blah. I got crumbs for you. Yes, I do. I got crumbs for you. I kind of just want to crack one of these and draw a card, so. Your bread is less salt and pepper and more salt. It's true. I assume you have beard, not bread. But when you said salt and pepper, I didn't even think about it. I'm making a machine here as well. I don't know what that means. Factory based puzzle game. Let's crack one of these boys. Um, I'm going to play this card. Let's see what happens next. Oh, wow, they countered it. Did you guys see them counter it? Wow. I had no idea they would do such a thing. That was completely unexpected. So, to be clear, I've played a Yorion, a Wicked Wolf, and a Tangled Florahedron. All three of them have been countered. So, that's cool. Yep. Always a good time. Sure, let's do one of these jobbies. God, I wonder what's going to happen. I bet it resolves. I bet it resolves and, and, and it's completely fine. Oh, wow. Cool. So cool, dude. That's super cool. Wow. 
Your deck is really fun and interactive. I'm enjoying playing against it. Do, 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 do. Oh, which counterspell are they going to use? That's the question. Oh, the battle's ready. hand seems rough but we got three lands so it's oh what up super fritz I guess this deck started playing Laris when they realized they don't have any permanents that cost less than three. Or more than three, rather. More than two, I should say. Yep, you got it. Give me a white source, that'd be great. Nope. No white source. Sounds good. Three crabs. <sighs> Fucking cool. This is where they go Luris Crab, right? Fascinating. Hmm. 
No, don't do that. Seems good. Seems good. Is this the go Luris Crab mill me for nine when I'm at 31 cards? That could be good. This is pretty wild, man. Oh, Lyra says to go in the hand first. I'm stupid. Like, even if we're not losing to being milled, the act of being milled when we're this close is just not fun. Oh well. Yep, we got it. Oh, I thought I had one more so I could cast a friggin' spider, but I can't, so that's unfortunate. There are two. I have five cards, so... You know. That's cool. They have two cards in hand? All their lands are pretty basic. We can Yorion blink these guys to DOT to kill these if they don't block, which they ain't gonna have to do. Sure. Okay. Crab man down. Uh. Dexile card's owner creates the token. Okay. So they will get a blank 3-3. Three, three. We'll get to fight this guy and steal our own wolf. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, done. Wolf is fighting this idiot. You're taking this guy. Wow, do we win this game? Jesus. Why did I just board in more things? I should have just board in more. I don't know why I like, oh my god, I have to have this many even. up to 64. Well, we don't have 80 cards. We only have 75 with sideboard, unfortunately. But I like where your head's at.
So what is this, two lands? I don't think that's going to do it. Uh, that's better. Put the Yorion back. Oh, that's a good, that's a good opener. Let's play that guy. Honkity honk honk. Nothing on turn one or turn two, that's pretty interesting. Well, that's fascinating. They have done nothing yet? Sure, 1-1. One, one. That's a nice hit. I wonder if they board out Mystical Dispute in the second and third games. Sure. That doesn't seem great, I'll be honest. So if they have Drown in the lock... It doesn't really matter because we have infinite guys, right? We have infinite mana. And they can't cast Mystical Dispute, so I don't know what they could have here. Get your stupid little idiot and put it in the trash can. No attacks from my geese. Unless I'm trying to flip a wind brisk kites over here. Wicked Wolf with three food on board seems pretty good. And they're just not doing anything? I don't know what's going on. They have four cards. Favorite card in my collection? Not really. No, I don't really. My magic collection is not really what I care about. My comic collection, however, is is a little more, a little more of my uh, my style. Okay, okay. So we can make a food with one goose. You got it. Scoop it do be do 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 Who are your favorite comic writers? Um Brian Michael Bendis. Uh, Donnie Cates as of recent he's been very very good um, Mark Wade. Um, 
Jeff Lemire has done really good stuff that I've enjoyed. less than or equal to the number of cards in its controller's graveyard. Does it cost four mana? Mark Wade did do Kingdom Come, and uh, Mark w and and Kingdom Come is also one of my favorites. They didn't actually put this into their hand, which is kind of interesting. Try again. You have two drown on the locks in your hand. That's your hand. Kurt Buziak was good, and I really enjoyed Astro City when he did it. But I haven't, I haven't seen anything from Kurt Buziak in like years. Counter target spells. Those controls play twice X. So I gotta pay four. I just don't think I care. have one card if this resolves we still get to like have a food up two geese on board um resolve yeah fuck it why not Because, I mean, it did nothing, right? Like, they just... It was a one for one for zero there. And having ooze on board plus food plus Wicked Wolf seems good. They can play... They can get Luris and play Luris, but they can't play anything else this turn unless they have one more land. And then, in that case, they have one, one card in hand. Five mana, huh? They can't activate it. So, like, the lengths they've gone to to actually s to deal with this scavenging use is pretty ridiculous. Tot Boss, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. I wonder where our lands have been. Nope. I, I actually, so the thing is, I love Warren Ellis's writing. I just wish he wasn't a scumbag, which kind of sucks. It's kind of a bummer. Paul Sheldon, I've never actually, I, I do not recall Paul Sheldon. What did they, what did they play this turn? Oh, they used three and three. Got it. Pass to attackers. 
Okay, now we're now we're getting somewhere. This game's probably over, right? I mean, now we can make a food. They have two cards in hand. We're not even close to being milled out. Sure, you got it. Is that a main phase draw four for, like, full price? Yikes. So they have to block here and they take four, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Eat all them foods. Got him. Is that 3-0? Are we 3-0? Because that feels pretty good. And that's where we're going to call it. Because this is a nice, manageable size for the video. Thank you guys for watching. Let us know what you think of this deck. I thought it was pretty sweet. It just faced the blue-black rogues Demir deck. Which is pretty good. Uh, we faced... Look at this. We can go to the end step. Bam! What's going on, guys? Uh, we faced the... Hold on. I can just fix that a little bit so we can get it like that. Yeah. Uh, we faced Mono Red. And then what else do we face? Um, some other deck. What was the other? Dan's, what's going on, buddy? What was the other deck we faced? I'll claim my prizes. I can't remember the first round we played. Either way, 3 1. 3 0 is pretty good. This deck might have some legs. If you guys are playing standard, uh, I would be careful about playing in person. But if you're playing online, definitely play some standard. And, uh, you know, maybe it's a good format again. It's been a long time, dude. Oh, what up, Dan? Dan's, you are you are wonderful, and I love you to death, buddy. Guys, slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check out mandatraders.com. You get 15% off. Blue Black Meal was the last deck we played, not the first deck we played. Was the first deck Black Red? Was it Black Thank Red, you. Mono Red, and Blue Black? Those actually seem like three uh, very representative decks in this metagame. Dan's with the resub. You're my favorite. Um... Check out Mana Traders, 20, 15% off the first three months of any subscription. Link and promo code are down below. Also check out nordvpn.org slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 68% off a two-year subscription along with one month free. It's a great deal if you're looking for a VPN. Dan's, you're wonderful. I can't wait to see you guys again either. So hopefully when this COVID's done, we can all go to Japan or Disney and uh, have some hangouts. But thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time.